I'm going to show a video here how to find a rather large leak with a leak detector. So you can see I'm going off, just getting close to the unit. It's somewhere around on the line set there. So I got, I got background refrigeration, you know, feet away from this unit. So we're probably looking at a 30 pound a year leak. Some large rate like that. I don't have my ultrasonic. I loaned it to a plumber for gas testing. If I had ultrasonic, I could go in and listen for hissing. And that would uh, find it really fast because it's a large leak. But I'm going to show you an alternative method to find the leak without destroying your leak detector in the process or destroying the sensor that is. So what you do is get some air moving to clear out all your background and really quick after doing that I found out this leak detector is sensitive to this grass. Very sensitive to the grass. This is the first time I've seen that so the grass is leaking. So y'all might be laughing that SRL8 is a useless piece of junk, but it's very good at getting small leaks. So I was suspicious this system was low on refrigerant and then the hits I was getting everywhere it was telling me it was a very large leak. So I started up the fan to clear out the refrigerant and then sure enough, I found the run capacitor is bad. Fix the run capacitor. As you can see, the pressures are fine. Leak detector is just going bananas over the grass. When this leak detector works good, it is crazy on oddball stuff like that. That tells you your, your sensor is hot and your sensor is good. If this leak detector starts getting nice, like other leak detectors, you're gonna miss small 410A leaks. This thing is awesome for finding small leaks. But you do have to rule out background stuff. So, like I said, it turns out there's no leak at all on this system. I repaired a major leak two years ago, and that leak is fine, because it's still holding gas two years later. One other thing when you're leak checking with the SRL8, it's sensitive to your breath. So you don't get fooled as you're breathing on a spot that you're finding a consistent leak, but it's just your breath which is setting off the leak detector. Here's what that leak detector report looks like. So the leak detector linked to the manual, the refrigerants. I actually have a video showing the testing and then sensitivity in parts per million and then some notes about it. And then right here is a graph of all the leak detectors that I tested. Green is R22, purple is 410A. And this is logarithmic graph. So lower is more sensitive. So as you can see, some of the high-end manufacturing leak detectors, you know, if you want to spend like $8,000, they have decent sensitivity on both refrigerants, but I have not been able to find good sensitivity on both refrigerants. So for 410A, is the SRL8 is the very sensitive, about 200 parts per billion or 0.2 parts per million. The Testo 316-4, it's showing to be more sensitive than the SRL8, but I've bought this one, I've been testing it in the field, and I just like the SRL8 better. The Testo seemed a little more stable, but it just seemed to miss some leaks. I had one job and this was missing it, and just the SRL8 was finding it. It was on a bad evaporator. And uh, so, but it tested. The Testo 316-4 tested a little bit better. I had to buy this one from Japan, but it's uh, starting to be available now in the U.S. And um, and then for 22, basically most of the leak detectors are good on 22, but I like the Testo 316. I used to use forever the H10 Pro or the H10. I got some variants of that. Notice it's pretty bad on 410A. 
Uh, but the testo is so much smaller than age 10 and it's actually more sensitive so and cheaper so why bother with the H10 and I haven't found a leak detector that's sensitive to both so you can get a copy of my report I'll put a link in the description of this video and it shows the sensitivity of all the leak detectors SRL8 is the best but you do got to put up with its squirreliness which I showed in this video I hope you like watching the video thanks for watching